Here I've got a nice groove that I like. I want to hear it with some different mix presets. Okay, I'm going to use it with that, and I'm going to just go to the Beats page and bring this into my DAW, and I'll just loop these four bars. And I'm going to go to the Kit page now. We're going to explore this. I'm going to turn this off so we'll just be able to hear it from the DAW. And here I've added a simple bass part just to make it more interesting. So here we have the 18 kit piece slots and each one shows us an image of the currently selected piece. Now we can click on any of the images to audition the sound and the pad's velocity sensitive. So the higher up we go, the louder it is. Like that. Now we've got basic mute and solo buttons and I hover my mouse over each pad, the buttons become active. So there I'm muting the kick. We're hearing it because it's linked here. I'm gonna unlink that in a moment. I'll get to that. Here I mute the snare. I can solo the snare. We can adjust the kit piece volume and we see a little MIDI activity indicator. We can use the wrench icon to jump to the edit page. More on that in another video, but back to the kit page. We can use this little grid icon to get to the kit piece browser. So here we can view all the available kit pieces that can be loaded into the specific slot. So if I wanna swap it out for a different bass drum, and I can audition different stroke types here for this kick. There's only that one stroke type. Maybe I'll go with that one, click OK, and I've swapped it out. And we get that for each of the menus. And here for the snare, for example, I'll switch it for that. And we get the different stroke types that we can audition. And these are all mapped out on the keyboard in different note ranges. We'll go through that in another video. But before I click OK, I'll just show you that we have what's available here, and I have a couple of kit piece expansions. But we can also explore more expansions and see what's available, even though you don't own them. And I'll just go back and select that one. So now I have a different kick and snare. Now, the link is unique. We can drag and drop the link symbol from the kick or the snare slots to other kit pieces so that they become linked and they can play at the same time. So maybe I want to have this hand clap. I'm going to drag it there and I'm going to go link to clap. And I can simply click on that and unlink it. Now these flexi slots are unique. When I click on the kit piece editor, I can access any type of sound because they're flexible slots. So I can load whatever I need. And of course, some of them we have licenses for and some not, but Maybe I want to audition this. So these are extra triggers for the kick, and that's what was loaded up originally. But let's say I'm going to go to kick here, and I'm going to load something else in. Maybe that. And maybe I want to layer the two kicks together. I can drag that over there, link it to the kick, and now I'll have a nice, heavy, layered, unique double kick. That's just the pearl. And that's just the sonar. And then of course I can further go in and edit and maybe change the pitch of them. But again, that's for another video. Now in the flexi slots, we also get different types of extras that are available, like those hand claps, cowbell's nice. Maybe I'm gonna load that one in and maybe link that with the snare. the volume down. So in this particular preset, not all of the slots were used. Maybe I'll go in here and load another symbol in. Maybe I want to add that. And now that I've got that Sabian 17 inch crash, because I've dragged and dropped the MIDI in, I can always go into my DAW and just program in a crash hit where I want it. That's the kit page. We'll look at more in the next video.